hi guys thank you for clicking on this video you're welcome to my channel my name is promise ak i'm happy i'm finally able to do this it's been a long time coming and yeah yeah we are we've started <laughs> channel is focused on helping young professionals particularly geoscientists transition or adapt data science and machine learning into their various operations the world is changing and if you agree with me a key driver for that change is technology and if you've been following trends you will know that the trend in technology now is data sciences and artificial intelligence as young professionals in order to keep being relevant in our various spaces and offices it is necessary to keep up with emerging technology keep learning and never stop learning so before we go into the details of all we'll be talking about in this video let me introduce myself my name is promise i'm a nigerian currently based in the uk i have my bachelor's in geology from the federal university of petroleum resources first in africa sixth in the world so if i put right type yourself in the comment section i have my master's in petroleum geosciences from imperial college london the prestigious imperial college london i have quite a unique work background i started out as a business developer with a branding company where i worked with lots of graphic designers and software developers programmers software engineers and that was where i came across programming for the first time though i didn't take interest at the time but i learned a thing or two from there after that i went for my nyc nyc is national youth service Corp. It's a one-year program organized by the nigerian government to enable young graduates participate in nation building through community development services i was posted to lagos state nigeria and I was posted to a secondary school. That was a very impactful time of my life because I got to mentor young students. Like I shared my experiences with them, my goals, I advised them. They were really inspired by my journey. And at the time, a lot of them wanted to study geology. Moving on from there, I joined DigiConnect as a geoscientist. DigiConnect is a leading hydrocarbon asset evaluation company in Nigeria. I started out as a seismic interpreter, but as time went on, I progressed into different things. Did reservoir modeling, petrophysical analysis, reservoir engineering, economic analysis, well planning, planning evacuation strategies. It was a whole lot of things I had to do and it was like a period of learning for me at DigiConnect. I'm currently a data geoscientist with CGG, combining my data science and geoscience skills to help solve problems. I know a lot of you will be wondering at what point I started data sciences. Just before my, I went for my master's, I was involved in a very unique project with DigiConnect. It was really overwhelming and stretching for me. So I had to learn, I had to do a lot within a very short time. So at that point, I was exhausted with geosciences. I was exhausted with everything asset evaluation. So I wanted something different. I wanted something fresh. After my first semester, for my master's program we were asked to submit areas where we our interest for thesis at that point i knew i didn't want anything seismic interpretation or reservoir characterization i wanted something totally different something fresh something unique and the only thing that was coming to mind then was data sciences and machine learning at that time i had no knowledge of data sciences or artificial i, I didn't even know how to program but i just wanted to learn something different so that was the motivation I reached out to a few senior colleagues and they encouraged me against it and they advised against it that I should just do something I was comfortable with and I could also always learn this a different time. But I was determined to do that regardless. So I chose a machine learning project to predict lithologies from well logs. And it was quite challenging. The first month of it was really challenging for me because I had to do a lot of learning, everything. I was just jumping on anything that involved data sciences or machine learning. To cut the long story short, at the end of the day, I was able to complete that project. I got a distinction and also won a prize for that, the London Petrophysical Society Prize. That was very rewarding for me because I had put in a lot of work into that and seeing my project being recognized gave me lots of joy and fulfillment. So that brings me to my motivation for starting out this channel. Like when I started out, I, I, I didn't have a path to follow. There were lots of information out there like that was really overwhelming. 
I was just jumping on any webinar or any any Zoom call, anything that you just mentioned, data sciences. Some were relevant, some were not relevant. I also took on courses, both free and paid. And I made a few mistakes and I'm here to help people that want to go on the journey. I'll just help and guide them, navigate them, take them on the courses to do the skills to learn and the softwares or programming languages to focus on. On a scale of 0 to 10, I'd like you to let me know where you are on your data science journey. 0 being like you're a novice and 10 being you are an expert. So this will help me tell all my content to suit you better. So just drop that figure on the comment section and also drop your questions. If you have any questions you want to ask or you have any area you want me to focus on, also drop it in the comment section or reach out to me on any of my social media handles. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm, I'm on Facebook and LinkedIn. I'll link the, my link to my profiles on the description box. Do well to reach out to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Share to your friends, share to your colleagues. People, I'm very sure that this channel will be very useful to them and they will be able to learn a lot from it. In my next video, I'll be introducing you to the world of data sciences, artificial intelligence. I'm very sure you've heard of different buzzwords data sciences, data analytics, big data, and those could be quite confusing. But in my next video, I'll be explaining these different terms and also explaining how we all relate and come together. So thank you for watching, like, share, and subscribe.